Hey guys, this is Jeanette from China, and this is the fifth episode of What to Do as a Business Traveler here in China. Today, I'm going to bring you to Qianhai, which is the nearest free trade zone located next to Hong Kong. And currently, I'm in ICC in West Kowloon in Hong Kong. I'm going to take these mainline coaches, the cross-border coaches, from Hong Kong to Qianhai. And let's see how long it's going to take us. Okay, let's go. Qianhai, also known as Qianhai Shenzhen, Hong Kong Modern Service Industry Cooperation Zone, is situated in the southwest of Shenzhen, on the west bank of Qianhai Bay. Shenzhen is a special economic zone established in 1980, and Qianhai was established in 2015. It is always referred to as the special zone within the special economic zone. By the end of 2022, this region has attracted over 104,000 registered companies. The development of Qianhai began by dividing the area into three sections, Guiwan, Qianwan, and Mawan. Each section serves a unique purpose. Guiwan focused on developing the financial industry. It is home to a cluster of financial institutions, including banks, security firms, and insurance companies. Mawan is a logistics center, providing supply chain services to business. Qianwan concentrates on high-tech and information service sectors while supporting the development of Guiwan and Mawan. In 2021, the size of the Qianhai area is expanded from 14.92 square kilometers to 120.56 square kilometers, creating a more investor-friendly environment, especially for the financial and technology sectors. With its prime location and established business environment, Qianhai is a great destination for entrepreneurs looking to take advantage of China's unique growing opportunities. Today we are going to visit Guiwan, the CBD area in Qianhai. The bus ride from Hong Kong ICC to Shenzhen Bayport is around one hour. This new bus route, transit between Hong Kong and Qianhai, has been running since March 31, 2023. The bus fee ranges from 40 to 150 RMB per ride depending on your boarding location and the time of traveling. Check the links below to book your ticket. Before reaching our destination, we'll be passing through the Shenzhen Bayport, which is the entry and exit point between mainland China and the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region of China. We will go through border inspection here, so make sure you have a valid visa for mainland China. The inspection at the checkpoint is very smooth. If you have all the necessary documents, it will take less than 10 minutes to pass the checkpoint. I just crossed the border um, and took around 10 minutes to uh, inspect the cargo and everything. And now I'm already on the Shenzhen side. And here, this is the Shenzhen Bay port. Uh, because the shuttle bus that I ordered uh, will take me from ICC to uh, Mix City, which is the destination that we're going to go today. And uh, after crossing the checking point, uh, the shuttle bus is going to wait on the other side of the checkpoint. So right now I'm waiting for the bus to go. Finally, we made it to the Mix C shopping mall. Can you believe it spans a whopping 100,000 square meters? That's almost 10 times the size of a football field. This spectacular complex, featuring a dazzling array of high-end apartments, office buildings and shops, opened its doors in December 2021. Let's go explore and see what treasures we can find. Hey guys, we just arrived at Mix C shopping mall, which is the first destination of the shuttle bus. It took us around like one hour and 40 minutes to arrive here. Uh, this shopping mall is one of the many shopping malls here in Qianhai. Um, and let me show you around how this whole place looks like. But before we do that, uh, let me grab a cup of coffee. I just ordered a cup of dirty. Um, this is my favorite. And um, this is my first time to try out this shop. Let's have a try.
The shopping mall's exterior features traditional Chinese elements that blend perfectly with the serene water pond and flourishing trees, with a seasonal display of artworks, music shows, and activities, creating a lively atmosphere that is sure to delight your visit. From above, the shopping mall appears like a flying wing and exudes a vibrant energy. The renowned Japanese interior designer, Mr. Masamichi Katayama, brings his expertise in trendy brand store design to break the mold of traditional commercial buildings. The mall is vertically divided into three themes, namely quality life, new life, and artistic life. Mix C brings together leading brands together with boutique and niche product to create an unparalleled, multi-level shopping experience. Um, after this shopping mall, I heard there's a lot of uh, parks surrounding this area, so let's go there and have a look. I just checked. It's around uh, 800 meters from the shopping mall to the park. So in order to show you guys how this uh, place looks like, I will simply walk there. Okay, let's go. Just downstairs this financial center, I saw this uh, beautiful green area. I believe it to be some gardens or park. And you can see over there, let me change my camera. There are some new couples taking their wedding photos. This area has plenty of parks and greens. It is a perfect place to unwind after a busy day. Take a stroll through the Art Performance Park where you will find people gather in tents reading books, chatting with friends, and casting their fishing rods along the seaside. Enjoy a peaceful mind as palm trees sway in the refreshing sea breeze. One of the most important things when you come here to Shenzhen is to eat. And tonight I'm gonna bring you to have a fish hot pot. I found this restaurant online and it was recommended on one of the uh, food software here in China. And they're famous for their fish hot pot. Let's go and find out. The restaurant locates in the mixed sea shopping mall. It took me just 10 minutes to walk back from the seaside. I'm very lucky to arrive at the restaurant before the crowd, just before 6 p.m. So I went straight into the restaurant without queuing up. This restaurant serves signature Yunnan dish. Yunnan province locates in the southwestern part of China. Due to its local climate and culture, people wearing the straw hat when picking tea leaf on the mountain also use the hat as pot cover. The signature fish hot pot was unlike anything I've seen before, truly unique to this restaurant. Plus, the fish was cooked to perfection in just 4 minutes and 30 seconds for ultimate freshness and juiciness. I don't know what is this. Um, it looks like kind of like a tofu. Um, let's try it. The dipping sauce is the key when having Chinese hot pot. When the fish being so fresh, a simple garlic and chili soy sauce will bring out the exquisite taste that you won't be able to resist. Obviously, I couldn't finish all the food in the pot. Uh, that's why I have my uh, dabao takeaway so I don't waste any food. And um, that's all for today. If you like my video, welcome to subscribe to my channel. And see you next time. Bye bye.